Hey, Snake Nose back. Back tonight we have PC Linux OS Enlightenment. Oh yes. The Enlightenment desktop is on PC Linux OS. And I love it really. It's really good. That should be five systems. I've given it about seven and a half gig on my partition here. It's getting full up now. About time the blanket start again. But you say it takes 1.9 gig for the file system. So that's pretty good. We'll go down to the menu, write them down. But as you know, if you've used Enlightenment before, you don't have to do that. Just right click on the desktop, and there you go, it's all there. More applications. So, configuration, go ahead, load car, configure computer, get open office, I'll get back later. Lots of stuff there. Development, meld. I don't get that. Monitoring, Netplet, no good. It's, no, it's good actually. Printing, lots of Lexmart stuff there, which means Lexmart's printers should work in PC Links OS. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Bit about the price of the cartridge is really low, isn't it? A bit too expensive for me. Brazero's there, in there. Editor's leaf pad. File tools, quite a few bleached bit of stuff there, no good. Yeah, it's alright. Not so much in there, though, is there really, when you think about it? Internet, Firefox is your web browser, transmission is your torrent. That's a nice one for your 3G mobile devices. Hmm, interesting. Now I've put Happy Word in there, we'll come back to that in a bit, but you can get OpenOffice. But do you really need to? Synaptic there for adding all your software. Sound, not much there really. Barely really much over a 600 big download. I was expecting a little bit more, but it runs really, really nice. I must admit, it runs really smooth and clean. So I'll open up Abbey Word. There we go. Now isn't that really nice and bright and full to the screen? That's one of the best ones I've seen for a bleeding long while. Super duper. I'll go to help and see what version it is. It's 2.81. Very good, nice, works super duper, like, like, like. Anyway, go to next. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, we'll go to applications again. No, we'll go to files. Sorry, <coughs> I rest my case. Got usual stuff there. Desktop, got your virtual desktops, <coughs> and then you've got your shelves. You can enter your shelves as you would do in Enlightenment. Now, if you've never used Enlightenment before, it's a bit different. But it is very, very nice, and there's loads and loads of stuff again. This I've got a theme, the special three theme. Hmm. Not sure about that one, but I do like it though. It's really nice. It looks really nice on this big, nice screen. I got not. Well, it does look nice, but I've just not got a 24 inch screen. I've only got I don't know, 19. Oh, no, bummer. So, anyway, open the fox up. <coughs> the first one you get, excuse me, there is goes to the PC Linux page. Really good. Nice, comes up really quick, really nice and bright, easy to read for old people like me. I'm not going to go to the book straight away, I'll go somewhere else first. Let's go to the magazine. Now, if you don't read magazines or you don't go to different sites and like PC Linux OS, this is a really good one to look at, really. It's really, really good. There's lots of stuff every month, you know, it's really nice. I like it. I, I read it every month just to keep up really more than anything else there's so many distros out there that you know I can't get off of it's only 24 hours in a day I don't have to work some of them you know what I mean so we're going to tux machines look plenty of stuff there this is on their bar lovely super review of mint we've done been there done that haven't we been there done that so straight to the bubble curve how much if that works particularly any good well I must say it's bloody quick very, very, very quick. Look, it's really nice and bright. You can see everything. Some of the other distros you get, they have their own themes and that, and it just doesn't look right. But this one looks really super. Now, I got carried away testing this, and I started watching this program. So I'll restart it again for you. So the BBC iPad does work, so Flash does work at the end of the day, which is good for me, and it's good for you. So I'll show you a couple of seconds just to see that it does work. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. Nice. The yeah, iPlayer works, so Flash works. You can watch your YouTube videos and whatever else you want to watch. Now I must cut off there. I'll get told off because it's against the law. But you've got no audio anyway, so we should be fine. Okay, next one. Configure your computer with their own system. Brilliant. Now if you use PC Linux OS before. You, you'll know all about this, but if you haven't, we'll have a little look. Okay, 
got sharing, FTP, web server, we're going to network services, all there, hardware, check your hardware out, and all your stuff, your mouse and everything, system, I can go on and on, but I'm not going to, download it yourself, it's a live CD, you can check it out yourself. So what next we're going to look at? I've got better traps. Okay. Now, I don't know what to show you next, really. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Synaptic. We'll put them in Password. And we'll check it out. It ain't changed, really. It's still the same Synaptic. It's good. It does the job. It does what it says on the tin. Super. Now, as I've already installed Abbey Word, just for your office stuff, I mean, do you really need Open Office? Not really, do you really? Do you use half the functions? Not really. If you only write letters, Abbey Word's fine. In actual fact, it's really, really full featured now. This is why I've actually installed it, as you can see. But I'm just going to go through a few things with you that you can actually add to it. And there's loads and loads and loads. So I open up the screen. Look at where dictionaries, templates, Abbey Kimber, Abbey Grammar, blah, 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 on, go on, 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 on. Loads and loads of add ons for it. So if you only write letters and stuff like that, you don't really ne need to get the full office suite, really, do you? Not really. This will do for you. But if you're like a techno geezer, bird, whatever you do, you might want it. I don't know. What do I know? What do I know? What do I know? Anyway. What I'm going to do for you today, I'm just going to install the dictionaries, just to show you that it does actually work. Let's go, apply, and off we go. 39.49 kilobytes of stuff needs to be done. We apply it, it downloads, and it installs for us. So yeah, it does work. The machine I'm using it on at the moment is Samuel Pentium 4, 3 gig, single core, I think I've got a gig and a half around it now. I found a stick somewhere. Hey, it works nice. Hard drive's about to die though, so best I buy a new one, don't you think? But yeah, end of the day, it's super bleeding duper, isn't it? Lovely. Now, I'm going to check that theme out again, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Go to the themes. We click on theme. Yeah, the special three theme for E17 PC Linux. And it's not the pop band from years ago, no. All right, all right. Everything's going to be all right. No, it's not them. It's PC Linux OS Enlightenment. Now, if I was going to use PC Linux OS Enlightenment and install it on a hard system to use all the time, I would probably use this one, not any of the others, because it's really, really nice to use. Bit of bling, bit of this, bit of that. Super duper. So anyway, that's me. Sneaky Linux out. See you later.